for a while. Oh, yeah, I just popped this up because you had asked about the pen or somebody mentioned penalties, and I wasn't sure if we had seen any today. And it is after seven, so I don't even know. Do we end up with large penalties today? I'm just scanning down to go look real quick. Uh, I use um, Hex Daily Stats quite a bit, believe it or not, because uh, we have it. So there's 2 million on Ethereum today. So underneath that 4 million average, so nothing that I would really write home about and go, oh, you know, big changes today. Uh, of course, as a miner, I love it. I love it. And we had about 2 million on Pulse Chain. So, um, so yeah, about equal on the sides. Um, the one thing that I think maybe you're catching on to, and I don't know if you've been looking at the APYs at all. I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see this mm -hmm. as well. Um, so the biggest difference between the two chains, of course, is the price, right? Because of the price, we have different activity um, taking place, uh, not just the price, but the price of gas as well. I mean, uh, you know, Gwei sometimes is ridiculous, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, that being the case, we have a little bit of divergence. Uh, but just know that with about the same amount of penalties, we have 6.799 payout, um, at least expected for today and 6.714 expected on the pulse chain. So we see this little tiny divergence and that's because we have, um, you know, we have less T-shares on that Ethereum side. And where that's becoming pronounced now that you can see it with the naked eye, which is kind of important, right? Because all of us are looking at these things and, and not gonna catch our attention until we actually see it, right? With the APY on Ethereum, I don't know if you guys can see that really well, 38.2% as, you know, for day 1534 was the average. Um, but if we go down and look at, um, we look at the pulse chain, bring it back over here. Okay, we're looking at uh, 35.86. So my point is, is that you're, 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 you're beginning to see a one to two, three point difference uh, between the chains. And at some point, right, that's going to catch fire as well. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to see that. Um, now, I think one of the things are agenda items, so we don't have to like drag out that part of it. Um, just looking at the share rate, why is all this important? Well, I think everybody knows that T-shares just continue to become more um, more rare. That's the trend. Um, could the trend change? Yes, they could. The trend could change. But people who are holding the circulating hex would have to come in and, and, and do some heavy mining with it uh, for longer periods of time. And so it's quite likely that we will just continue to see um, you know, the number of shares go down. Meanwhile, anybody who's ended a long stake recently in, in the hex system, they recognize, oh, man, I can't get the same number of T-shares. Uh, there are some some edge cases particularly with big payday stakes um uh, they, they, they might come close if they go for the same number of days and all of the rewards all of the rewards not just some of them and all of the original principal uh, but it's just becoming more and more rare and so as we look at the chart here that i have up we're way back we're way back here in february right here um we have a miner who's getting ready to end. This gives you like a 120 day look ahead roughly. Um, we have a miner that'll be looking to end over the next couple of days. It'll bring us up to 32, um, then up to 33 sometime in, in the uh, March, uh, April timeframe, and then up to 33 and a half, all the way by the time we get to June, we should be well on our way to 34,000 um, hex per t-shirt. So the system works as expected. That's what it does. Right. And, and just remind everyone too, who, you know, don't know all the hex mechanics, like what, what this means when, when the, you know, the number goes up, what does this mean when you're, if you're trying to think about staking hex or, or mm -hmm. otherwise? Well, what ends up happening is, um, the longer you wait, the more hex it takes to get the same number of shares. And so that means you have, you, you, it changes your ability to compete with other people who are getting shares. And so the guys who have shares today, the guys and ladies who get them today versus, um, you know, in June, right? They're going to get, you know, whatever the, the percentage difference is, 10%, you know, 6%, 7% more T shares today than you will if you wait till June. And, and so, these, and these big fluctuations too, or the, you know, you, you mentioned people dropping off from staking, stakes ending, more, uh, you know, things becoming available. 
Yeah, correct. So, and and all that all that takes place while this is going up. It's quite quite ingenious system. Of course, you know that I love that. And without giving everybody, you know, the the complete education on hex. Hex has a three six nine percent inflation. That means daily there's a certain number of hex that gets rewarded to miners only. The miners who hold shares, that's how they have, that's how they get it. They get a pro rata or pro rata um, percentage, right? Of what that payout is per day. And that is what ends up being the payout per share. And we usually roll that all the way up to payout per t-share. And so we have a circumstance right now where daily payouts go up, base daily payouts go up every day. The T-share count goes down every day, and the T-share rate, the amount of hex that you need uh, to get a T-share, goes up. And so what, what happens with people who get into the system is they'll start it at some amount of APY, and then because they got in early enough over time, their APY floats upwards. It just floats up over time. So if you go look at if you look at a miner um, that's been been out for two years, in the first year it'll it'll be a point or so um, less than it is today. And then as as it progresses, you're holding on that share. Now, what what's great about that, and not great, not great for me because my my stakes end because I already made them. So is that great for me because my stakes end someday, right? Um, but it's great for me when I'm making new stakes because everybody's at this new playing playing field. So when, when I'm making, and I did some stakes for 2039 this week. Um, so when I'm making stakes out there at, at Quattro Cinco, you know, I I know that everybody else is on the same playing field. They got to pay the same share rate I do. And so that means it leaves meat on the bone. It means that people will naturally age out of the system. It has to happen that way. New people have the ability to become whales. And that's one of the one of the concepts for 2039. When you look at all the information that we have available to us in this immutable blockchain, uh, you know, contract is that, um, yeah, I mean, people who are taking action today are actually programming themselves to be sharks, dolphins, whales for the future, right? Because virtually all of those whales disappear, right? They, they can't stay in unless they come back in. Yeah. We'll talk about, too, the, the advantages of staking today when Hex is floating around a penny versus, you know, if, if, if people believe Hex is going to go to 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 50 cents, whatever, a dollar, what, you know, whatever we believe oh, yeah, it's going to go sure. to staking today for five, 10, 15 years, doing a ladder of some sort or whatever. How, what is the benefit of staking today versus staking when the hex price is much higher? Yeah, sure. Uh, so you can see, you can see, of course, we're looking at this curve here on the screen where we have a different bunch of different models. All of them are up into the right. We just, what we're doing is just anticipating and forecasting different levels of adoption, right? So we know that share rate's going up to the right. But when you combine price with it, now, I don't know what the prices are going to be, RH Max. You know this. I mean, uh, listen, I think I think that I think $29 is possible, right? I But it's going to depend on the community, right? Uh, what's likely? Mm, I don't know. But I do think that, uh, of course, um, I hopeful and believe we should be able to surpass um you know all-time highs um which is why you see 50 cents on this i think that two dollar or one dollar is kind of a number we talk about a lot five dollars is another psychological number and so if you look at what i've put up here on the screen you know we're saying okay well what would a t-share cost today it's a couple hundred bucks 300 bucks well at 50 cents um at the end of 25 right you know, that's nineteen thousand dollars, right? And um, at fifty cents at the end end of twenty six, it's twenty six thousand dollars, and you know, and so on and so forth. You know, it's where where we you know, if the price is even higher, it's even more money. Um, and I'll so, get so back the, to your question. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, just just make it clear real quick. People looking at this too. So today, if a t shirt costs two or three hundred dollars, and that's your share of the pool of the payout. That's how you earn yield and, and all that stuff today, you know, let's say a few hundred dollars, it, it, it had already cost. And, and 
yeah, do you remember what it cost, uh, you know, a couple of years ago when it was, when it hit the highs, when it hit 40, 50 cents, was it around this range? Was it 15, 20 K somewhere through there per t-shirt? Um, it, I think it went to 10 K. We can actually check that. 10K. Okay. And just see, so let's, we're going to, we went back over to Hex Daily stats and all I'm going to do is go, you guys can do this yourselves too, right? And go look. And the price that was registered as the high, not necessarily the high for the day, uh, but that's how it closed. It was at 0.48. A T-share was $9,000. So people work, and this is very important, right? There are people coming into the system at that time buying Hex and essentially paying that that $9,000 for a T-share. Um, yeah, not, not only that. So not only are they paying $9,000 for a T-share, they're paying for Hex at 40 some cents a Hex, which I, I did a tweet, uh, I think yesterday about, you know, DCA, a lot of people, hey, if you, you want to pay homage, uh, if you want to do something nice for, for all the Hexkins who came in late 2021 or so, paid 40 cents, locked up their Hex, got that. Um, if you want to actually stake at one cent and then if it goes to 40 cents, wouldn't that be a cool, like full, full round circle there for everyone? You would be getting Hex. You'd be, you know, what was the number? Like you could get $500 worth of Hex for, I think, uh, around 1200, 1250, uh, 1250 Hex for around 500 around 40 cents at one cent it's much much more i forget the exact number but it's 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 much i think it's around 50 i want to say 40 or 50k hex or something for 500 bucks today or somewhere around one cent so oh, yeah. if you're so, if you buy the same if you buy 500 dollars worth at 40 cents and you buy 500 dollars worth at one cent your dca cost is around two cents so even if so two good things there one if you bought at 40 cents stake locked it up watched to go down and you had the chance and you bought it at one cent or even below, you, you can make your DCA price go way, way much better. And if you take the opportunity, if you believe it's going to go to 40 cents again, you buy it now, then you not only get the cheaper T-shares and you get all that, you can also, um, you get much more hex uh, than, than what it would, what you would get if you waited later on. So anyways, want to just make that clear for everyone too. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And uh, that's kind of a dilemma, I think. I don't know. I've never asked you about this. I don't know how you feel about it but i'm going to guess it's a dilemma for you as it is for me because i am a hex maxi and i am you know i got 99 right so i mean uh, you know i mean that's where where i land i'm talking about mining hex every single day in every stream um so i'm, I'm as near to being hex max as you can possibly get right and yeah it's not lost on me that i I don't know how I'm going to handle things yet, but I know I can. What I mean is this: price is going to go up, and what am I going to tell people when the price is up? And I think my narrative is: is hey, this isn't real super positive. Hey, maybe you should chill a little bit and wait until until prices come down. That's not super positive to what we're doing. Or you have to be willing to buy at that 40 cents and have a long enough time frame in mind that you can outpace the market, right? And that's why the people who are here just now um, really have the big opportunity. I mean, we're at a penny. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's so low at the moment. Um, do, you, do I know, do you know exactly what's going to happen? No, not financial advice. But if you're in this environment, you already have the opportunity to have to pick up hacks at one one to two cents depending on what um what chain you're on that's a no i think it is a dilemma i think you're you're right there where it's like you want to get people into this amazing product without giving them financial advice or anything you just want to show them power but you want to tell them about it and then be like hey if you are interested here's here's how to do it now what price they get in you know that's it's kind of like i think of it to helping my future self not be have have less uh you know embarrassing moments or whatever if i if i'm able to tell them more about it when it's one cent <clears throat> versus them them ape in at 40 cents now they could still you know i may tell them about it one cent and they don't buy it till it's 40 cents that's different but yeah if they come back to me and you know a, a year let's say a year from now it's at 40 cents or whatever and they're like and i was, I was telling them about it you know this year and then they're like, hey, you know, is this still a good buy? Yeah, what do you, what do you say? I mean, how do you, I, I think that's a good question to ask. I mean, that, a good problem to have for us, right? But for other people getting them in, do you want them to, do you, do you not encourage staking at that point? Just 
like or no i actually I, I actually i would be encouraging it more but you do it for a long so how, how do you differ on the I, another thing i know what you're saying but it's how do you the time horizon because if they get it then they're getting less t-shares they're getting less hex for their money but if they're willing to wait till the next cycle it doesn't matter as much but if they're going to be oh my gosh i watched this thing go down you know who knows if it's going to go to 90 percent again maybe it never does maybe it does again but if it goes down again and then they they it, it becomes liquid and they're like wow my 500 bucks turned into 50 bucks that kind of thing what is the best way to sell them on staking at that point? Like the most healthy, yeah, healthy version. Yeah. Well, of course, we only have what what happened in the past, and then we're comparing it to the future. Um, and so, um, so yeah, I mean, part of this is: Do you believe in crypto long term? Right, answering that checkbox. Do you believe in pulse chain long term? Answering that checkbox. Do you believe that Hex has good market product fit? Yes. If you so you get this far and you're interested in doing hex, right? And you're making all the decisions. You're deciding what you're going to do. Um, well, delayed gratification is a thing. So if you believe in all that stuff and you believe in a scenario, at least the possibility of the scenario where we have cycles with um, higher highs and, and higher lows, right? Over over the next 15 years, that's where a 15 year type of a ladder comes in maybe um with some focus on coordinating around what we think will be highs 2025 2029 2033 2037 you know and um and you now of course some people try to really time it um i i kind of like figure this way I, I just do every year right and the reason i do that is because i don't know what you're you know is going to be the year in the future because maybe this time is different. Don't know, um, but if you believe in that that cycle and you've actually programmed the ladder, um, then you have that that ability to to you know, ideally, if price is up higher, right, you're always going to be at a profit plus plus your um, your rewards, right? Because you are getting rewards yeah. against it, and, and it's like a it's like a leverage on the hex. The t shares are leverage on the hex, and, and, and you know. And I know we, yeah, I know, guys, I know for the new people, yeah, it's hard to imagine that 2020, I was sitting in the same place and am I going to spend, really going to spend $10,000 on a million hex? You know, and so what happened, and you can't guarantee it'll happen. Can't, yeah, right? But what happened was, yeah, I bought a million hex and you know what? It was worth $500,000 at the top. That really happened. And um, yes, I was staked. <laughs> I, I was staked, and so it's because I'm I'm thinking about yeah. the future, right, and how this happens. So yeah, I, I mean, a lot of it has to do. With, what do you think about what yeah. will happen well, within the ecosystem? Nobody, <clears throat> nobody likes to see there. I mean, you know, I, f I feel the same way. Yeah, you know, like when I saw Hex go all time highs, uh, I was staked. Uh, I was staked a lot. I don't, I don't remember how much liquid I had at the time, but I remember looking at my stakes. Wow, that is amazing. And then over time, you just watch them go down and you're like, oh man, like it's, but it's not, it, it, I think being staked, it's what made everything feel better. Actually, the, the, the idea that I couldn't do anything about it, that I removed the temptation. I, of course I could have merged in staked and stuff, but that didn't make any sense to me at the time. I, I, I removed my temptation from the equation. That's what I love about native stake so much. That's why I don't do everything at HSIs. I don't think HSIs, I think they're amazing. <clears throat> I think they solve a lot of problems, but I don't think they, I don't, I, I don't wish that we only did HSIs in hex because maybe at that time, I, if I had HSI, maybe I'd be like, oh, let me, you know, sort of assuming the Icosa price and stuff was good or otherwise, um, you know, maybe I could have got liquid with, with some of the stuff too, or got liquidity from it. Anyways, I, I think the ability to, I, I'm trying to think what, I, what, what is the better messaging near the top if we do get that historic run again for hex maybe it is just talking about long-term uh, ladders instead of the price. Maybe the, it shifts from, I mean, hex at one cent, the focus is on price. Oh my gosh, look at the price appreciation this thing could do. And well, maybe it shifts to ladders near, near the, the top. The people that are coming in at the top are different animals too at the time. You know, um, not that everybody will be the same flavor. They won't be, but there'll be different animals in that 
they're coming at it like, hey, this thing just went up 300 percent. I want to get 300 percent. And they may not even be thinking about the about staking and wanting wanting any of that. You know, 